Greetings folks, Team Mott back again for another drive time. Better now than later to get with you and keep you up to speed. Let us begin. Curse, I shall delete your comments and summarily block you. To come back, you'll just have to create another account. Curse again and get burned. Protect that which you have. Access. Protect it. Govern yourselves accordingly. Lastly, I'm going to try and get away from the 3D green screen comments. Yes, I am driving for the moronic. Unlike some of you who can't smoke and tune your radio simultaneously, I can drive, talk, think, and chew gum at the same time. That's right, folks, so you don't have to ask me, am I driving? I have not crashed my car in four years and don't plan on it. Now, let us get into this thing. Ron Paul. Ron Paul, are, are Americans brain dead? <laughs> you gotta wonder, man. All right, the National Defense Authorization Act of 2012 that Obama just signed. I wanna point out a few things. I'm gonna try and get through this as quickly as possible. Folks, for any details that I may be missing, that is intentional because I want you to go and look it up for yourself. Now, the National Defense Authorization Act is something that they do on an annual basis to curtail uh, military spending. However, this time around, they did not curtail military spending. They curtailed our liberties. And I shall explain to you what I mean here momentarily. Back in 1878, we had a bill, um, legislation put into play called the Posse Comitatus Act, which basically prevented the military from being able to arrest U.S. citizens. In other words, local law enforcement uh, reserved the privilege, I shall say, of being able to exercise those duties themselves and not our military. Uh, they are not allowed to police the citizens on U.S. soil. Well, this act effectively repeals uh, the Posse Comitatus Act. Now, Ron Paul. Now, just like Ron Paul warned us about the economy, Ron Paul told us that the way that they were doing civil rights was not the way to go. Ron Paul is now telling us, you folk need to be alarmed. He even stated that in the presidential debates, they didn't even bring it up. That's the media. The media didn't want to bring that up. They got to have some kind of thing going to say, look, you don't ask these questions because we don't want to have to address this. The GOP or uh, uh, the Democrats had to be in bed on this one. Why? Because for people like me who are listening and paying attention, we start sounding the bell just like I'm doing right now. But it's amazing that it's in the news and Americans aren't raising hell. Let us go back to before Obama was elected. People were raising hell about folks over in Iraq being arrested and held at Gitmo. Some of uh, Obama's promises. I'm going to stop the torture. I'm going to close Gitmo. I'm going to see to it that we do not engage in this type of activity. Well, guess what? None of that has happened, all right? And now he signed this bill. So his Democratic cronies were pissed off about Bush and Gitmo and torture and arresting folks without due process. They were even talking about they need to bring them over here for a trial, okay? And they were saying these were not military combatants. They aren't entitled to this. He's just some rope. But anyway, I'm not going to rehash all of that. So now they are talking about doing the same thing to folk over here. Now, just pointing out one more time. They were pissed off at Bush about it. 
Now, here is Obama giving the military the right to do it to U.S. citizens. Did you hear what I just said? Are you standing up now, stomping your feet and going crazy about it? You should be if you're not. They can now arrest your ass if they think that you if they think that you are a terrorist. But folks, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna close. I know who are going to be the first casualties of this. It's the Negro gangbangers running around terrorizing neighborhoods with drive-by shootings. Yep, you will be the first ones to be to fall victim to this new 2012 bill, National Defense Authorization Act. Ron Paul said he would repeal it. Are you brain dead, America? Wake the hell up. Team out. I can't say it loud enough. And that's how I talk. Till next time.